All iPhones have designed by Apple in California under packaging. But how many brands are actually behind the iPhone? Let's find out the answer. For an iPhone to reach your hands, the manufacturing process is very complex. More than 200 components are in an iPhone. And the same number of suppliers are involved in the manufacturing process. For this, Apple buys many of the components from suppliers around the world and sends them to Foxconn and Pegatron, its main manufacturers, in Taiwan to assemble them. And because Apple annually updates its list of suppliers, let's see the main component brands behind the iPhone 13 Pro. Some components are also covered by Apple itself, which provides the A15 Bionic processor with a neural engine with 16 cores, CPU with 6 cores, and GPU with 5 cores. As for the RAM memory, Apple used the LPDDR4X model procured from South Korean supplier SK Hynix, the second largest manufacturer of memory chips and the third largest semiconductor company in the world. The DisplayPort interface is provided by NXP Semiconductors, a supplier from the Netherlands. Apple's main flash storage supplier is Kayaksha, which uses NAND chips, formerly known as Toshiba. Wireless connectivity via 5G modem is provided by Qualcomm, a supplier from the USA. The Swiss supplier ST Microelectronics provides the microcontroller with eSIM components. Another important component is the wireless charging receiver, which is provided by Broadcom, a supplier from the USA. The battery for the iPhone 13 series is supplied by Sunbuda Electric in China. The main suppliers for iPhone screens are Samsung, LG Display, and BOE, the latter being forced to stop the production of OLED screens for iPhone 13 due to a lack of integrated circuits. Cornering, an Apple supplier known for its protective glass products, provides Gorilla Glass to protect iPhone screens. The cameras on the iPhone 13 Pro and the LiDAR scanners are provided by Sony. So, to create an iPhone, Apple needs over 200 suppliers, which allows Apple to focus on designing innovative products. In short, Apple needs suppliers and suppliers need Apple, a mutually beneficial relationship. What do you think? Do you think this is one of the reasons why Apple is successful?